Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys some more Grim Dawn updates with the character, uh, especially since we are level 100 and I actually found a way to target farm a specific set that's really good for our build. Now I actually just ended up swapping over, which means I'm actually not <clears throat> really fully set on my components yet. You can see here I'm using like mutated scales in my gloves and mutated scales on my chest piece. Nothing is even on my pants. These were basically like makeshift pants that I found, but more or less, I ended up going with the Dark Ones set. Um, Dark Ones is cool because number one, you can target farm it. Target farming means it drops out of a specific zone. Uh, number two, the set bonus, which is the Dark Ones gift when it procs, is a 10% damage absorption, which pretty much has 100% uptime unless you're running and just kiting one target. And then the set bonus overall is really good. It gives defensive ability, gives armor, percent health, percent offensive ability is huge. And then another big thing about it is that it gives plus three to Ravenous Earth. I was actually at a total of plus 15 Ravenous Earth with my character. And if you're unaware, um, you can only go to plus 10 on your skill. But that's not bad because that means that you have the ability to remove pieces that you normally were unable to because they give plus to a skill. So for example, I'm using these Venom things. Not very good. They're okay though. They give decent res. They give okay health. And... They actually give a proc called Venom Lash, which just reduces the target's defensive ability. Um, nothing has really necessarily changed on my skills here. I do need to work out and cap my resistance. I'm not using any of the super rare components yet from Malmouth because I haven't decided what gear I want to use and I don't want to waste the currency. Um, also, I ended up using a new weapon now called Pandemic that I found, mainly because it adds a ton of flat vitality damage to Ravenous Earth. And that flat vitality damage gets scaled by a crazy amount. Uh, I also did opt out and I swapped over to a shield. I don't know if this is a permanent solution or not. But basically by using a shield, um, our damage still feels totally fine. And this way we get to become much, much, much more tanky. Uh, since I feel a lot of the endgame content just absolutely destroys my character. And pretty much most builds. And then another big thing to note is that we've got 18% total physical resist. Our devotions are the same. I still don't know exactly what I'm doing with my tree here because um, since I'm not using, where is it? Since I'm not using Storm Totem right now because I just don't really feel it's necessary, uh, I ended up just going back again into points and shaman because I need to respec shaman. Um, I need to respec my stats before I can respec like down here to 25, and then with those, I'm gonna go max into Mark of Torment. But for now, it doesn't really matter that much. <clears throat> so where I'm going to go farm is a secret quest. Uh, I will have a link to it that I'll post in the comments after like an hour because YouTube likes to wait. Um, but you can also just Google it. It's going to be called the Secret Lokar Quest. So we're going to start after we complete everything by going to Malmouth. The only thing I need to do now with the build is get, like, a ton more offensive ability. I'm just not making it a priority right now because I really like how the character is right now for progressing. And I know the next thing I need to get for upgrades is that. And, I mean, I'm still using a Sanctuary Relic. Not for any particular reason. Mainly because I needed the Physique requirements before. Like, the Minus Physique. But now there's just not really much of a reason to use it. So we'll try to work on maybe crafting a mythical relic, but we're gonna have to find a recipe first for one. And you see, this is the Dark Ones buff right here. So once it gets to five seconds, it's pretty much able to proc again. Okay, then after here, we go into the Ethereal Rift, and this is where you're able to farm your Dark Ones. Now, Dark Ones only drops off of four monsters inside this zone, right? And I'll show you which ones they are. Oh, what do we have here? Ooh, that's, that's mean. Minus maximum health.
It is important to note that... Oh, here we go. These guys. The Rift claimed adherence. There's four of these guys in the zone. And you can farm it off of them. So basically, you would kill them and then reset. There's a healer somewhere in here. Oh, frozen. Still frozen. Frozen. Oh, freeze is spooky. I'm not exactly sure what's healing them. And I'm frozen again. The freeze in here is like really terrible. You pretty much like are required to have. I might be dead. Pretty sure I'm dead. No. Still can't move, by the way. Still frozen. Holy shit. <laughs> that was like a five second freeze. <laughs> I'm actually very surprised we lived. Uh-oh. So yeah, there are these things that just follow you around casting shit, like these guys, and they are so awful. Please, game. I just want my loot, dude. I just want my loot. Okay, I won't take my loot then. I'm sorry. So normally when I'm soloing here, I use like Warfrost ointments. Uh, I just can't really open my inventory right now to use them. Where are they? Here. Reduce freeze duration. And then I like to use Royal Jelly. Now, another thing to note is that inside here, there's also a mythical or celestial celestial boss there are a couple of celestial bosses hidden throughout the game of grim dawn and if you're looking to put your build to the challenge then i challenge you to fight these celestial bosses now again this character is not super geared it's just now starting to get basic gear i you know i've got my first set but it's nothing crazy so this fight may not go the best but i want to show you guys what the celestial bosses kind of look like Mainly because you need a ton of offensive ability to crit the Celestial bosses. I can't even crit this guy we're going to, which is Lokar. I can't, do that yet. I can't even crit the plant. <laughs> Zero percent crit chance. Alright, this is going to be Lokar. Lokar is very mad, so here we go, boys. Wish me luck. That skill's not Try to keep him in the middle here so we can get some decent damage, hopefully. I can't do that yet. Now, Lokar also summons clones of a previous celestial boss named John Bourbon. I'm just gonna see if they'll run to the middle, and I can just try to hit both of them with the Ravenous Earth. I don't think he wants to do that, though. That skill's not ready. I can't do that yet. What I do for Lokar is I try to save my HP potion for when he stuns me and bourbons come out because that's when can't do that. that's when you're about to take like a ton of real burst damage which the bourbons are going to be spawning now in the second set in probably like 5 seconds so it should spawn 2 bourbons there's the stun okay didn't need to pot good and this is good because our meat shield has a chance to uh, not a chance but when we drop below a certain threshold you'll see it'll actually pop me to like 30k health Actually, because of the reduced health, it won't be 30k, it'll be like 28k. That's good, because it's it's kind of like another potion.
I do have to say the life for you, Chan, really comes in crazy here. Which is funny because I use Dying God. Dying God actually reduces my... Uh... Oop, there's a pot. Dying God actually... Ooh, I don't know what that was. I think Meat Shield might still be on cooldown. Let's just kite for a bit. Okay, next set of bourbons are up. I can't do that yet. I'm potting. Oh my goodness, that burst. I potted there early, which is not good because we're gonna have like okay. Well, for one, there's that. Okay, let's put this here. Try to get leech still. Spam the potion key. Oh, nice potion came up. And bourbon. This is four bourbons, I think. It's gonna be pretty spook. Gotta make sure we keep our distance the whole time. Our number two reduces attack speed and our number one reduces their damage. So it's important to try to have uptime on both of them on pretty much everything that we can. To get ready to pot. Okay, nice. That's good. Same thing. Nope, we're good. Oh, okay. That was spooky. I don't know if he's going to spawn another set of bourbons. I think our goal would be to kill him before then, so definitely try to do that. I don't want to go to those fire tornadoes, though, or whatever they even are, chaos tornadoes. Perfect. Down goes Lokar. So, as Lokar is a mythical boss, his drop table is a little bit interesting. He basically drops a leveling set for your next character. Um, which 4p set bonus would be 40% XP gain and plus one all skills, which is actually really good for leveling a new character considering required player level one. And then let's see if we get any bonus loot. Gut Ripper. Not really. What's this? Conduit of Wild Whispers, Legendary Amulet, plus three to all max res. What? Plus one to all skills in Shaman? This is actually pretty decent considering what I'm using right now. It's like, I mean, 61 vit damage is not that much. Aether res is nice. The plus to all Necromancer is pretty good, but I don't know. I think it's nice having extra options as well. Like, plus to maximum resistance, I think, is really big if you're trying to do some big boy bosses. A dead DPS deals? No DPS. What do we have here? Pretty poo-poo. But yeah, just to talk about the character a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to respec Lantern. And then try to figure out a way to maybe get, like, four points in Targo. Because Targo would be like percent health, percent health, and these are both like Aether and Chaos Res, which is pretty nice. And then this is just defensive ability and flat health, which is also really good. Um, I don't really know. I, I Do I even need Dying God? That's an, I think Dying God is really good. I just need to get more... Um, I need to get a lot more offensive ability, and I think a lot of my offensive, offensive, 
offense ability. Offensive ability will come from like changing my components around in my chess piece. Like I can use uh, percent offensive ability on chess piece again. Um, I can definitely trade out this relic and probably get an offensive ability relic. Uh, I'm using corpse dust on my rings, or sorry, on my... Wait, do I not even have... Whatchamacallit's on these? I don't. I don't even have... Are you kidding me? What are they called here? Yeah, I forgot to put on the augments on my accessories, so that's pretty funny. Okay, so we can definitely go up from there as well. Yep, so that's definitely going to be future goal is probably pushing towards uh, 3k offensive ability, even trying to get our defensive ability up a bit more to like 3k. Um, if our health drops, it's okay. We're trying to stay between 20 to 30k health, depending on what gear drops. And then I haven't really looked for what is coming next with the character. But anyway, that's pretty much going to be about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you're curious, uh, you can always check me out streaming live at twitch.tv slash box. I'm still probably playing Grim Dawn for like the next week or so. Uh, and always, if you have a question, feel free to drop it down in the comments below. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.